now that we have all our, most of our pieces assembled, we are going to leave the head off because what I'm going to show you how to do is I'm going to show you how to use green stuff to make a bloated stomach. Which is very simple. All you need is green stuff. So basically all we're going to do now is uh, pretty much just start the conversion work. We're going to start with the weapons. For the weapons, you are going to need your... Uh, your uh, blade piece, whether it's a knife or whether it's a scythe. You are also going to need a paper clip. Got the piece cut off. We have it here. Alright, so basically now what we're going to do is we're going to attach this to here through the hand that we have. And uh, I'll show you what arm we're going to be using. Here's the arm. Basically all we're going to do now is we're going to, um, and uh, we're basically just going to glue that to the bottom of the hand and then glue the side to the top of the hand. As you can see, now that we have that piece done, we're going to set that aside to dry. Now we're going to start with the green stuffing. There are three parts of the body that we're going to green stuff. First is here. We're going to basically make a bloated stomach using ball of green stuff and smoothing it out with our hands and detailing it. And uh, we are also going to make stretchy marks which I will show you what those are from the gun attached to the hand basically molding the hand and the gun together on both sides and uh, we are also going to have a small tentacle running out of this bullet hole just snaking around the leg uh, basically what we're going to do here is we're going to take out a chunk of green stuff just a uh, decent sized Basically the way green stuff is used, let me put this back in my bag. It's always good to keep green stuff in a Ziploc bag so it does not dry out. That's just what I think. And uh, you always need to keep a bowl of water near near you so you can keep your fingers moist. Because if you do not keep your fingers moist, it'll start to stick to your fingers just like you saw right there. Which is what you don't want. And it'll also start leaving fingerprints, which you do not want fingerprints on your model. So basically have a bowl of water nearby or the way I do it which is kinda nasty I lick my fingers before I uh, mess with the green stuff and basically you just uh, mold it with it and you just use your saliva for the water it's kinda nasty but uh... you know who cares so I get my fingers moist here and you're just gonna start kneading the green stuff How do you know when the green stuff's done? Well, yellow and blue make green. When it's green, it's your green stuff. So, just mix it until it's green. Yay, we now have green stuff. Now all we're going to do is going to get it into a ball shape. And with our finger, rub it on our palm to make a ball. If you have ever messed with clay in art class at your school or whatever, I'm sure everybody has somewhat messed with clay or model magic or whatever. You're just going to make it into a clean little ball like that. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take our torso and we're going to place it in between the bottom of the in between the top of the belt and the bottom of the chest. We're just going to place it like that. All you're going to do now is move it into place. You're going to move it like that on both sides. Be sure to cover the belt. That is a very important part. And you want a good clean beer belly, as you can call it, for the stomach. Be sure to cover all the belt. And keep your uh, bowl of water nearby and keep dipping your fingers in it or licking your fingers. And just slowly make that transition from that thin green stuff into the plastic. Be sure to work it into the neck area. And trust me, you have to keep your fingers moist. If you do not, 
if I was not licking my fingers or dipping my fingers in a bowl of water, as soon as I touch this, it would rip the thing right off. So it's a must. You have to keep your fingers moist. I'll just say that now, from now on, so I don't have to keep saying both. Every time you see my hand go off the screen, I'm licking my fingers. So it's very important that you do it constantly. As you can see, there's a fingerprint. There's fingerprints all over this thing. Basically, all you gotta do is smooth it out. This one's not as elaborate as my other stomachs, but uh, it's pretty convincing. It's a pretty bloated stomach. Smooth it out now. And make sure that transition is good on both sides. And there you have it. Green stuff 101. There you go. There's your torso. Now all you do to detail it up is take a, a thicker a thicker point piece, maybe like a millimeter thick too. And basically you're going to keep it wet. Actually I do use a bowl of water for this. I just dip it in the bowl of water right there. And it keeps it wet. So basically all you're going to do here is uh, make some stretch marks. And uh, it's very easy to do. All you do is drag and you get these lines. Let me zoom in here for you. What you're going to do is make stretch marks where the stress would be, where the top of the neck, where it basically connects to the, the body itself. So maybe on the sides, up here on the neck part, make some stretch marks. That's all you need to do. And uh, now basically we're going to put, we're going to take a skull or and or helmet. In this case, we're just going to use the same guy. And we're just going to lightly, we're going to keep it moist. And yes, I just did lick the helmet. And you're just going to press it into the stomach. Pull it right out. Should leave a weird looking mark. Just press it in and pull it out. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm zoomed in so far. Crap. Probably didn't see a lot of that. I'm very sorry about that. Um, crap. Um, okay. And now you're just going to make little dots everywhere. And I'm going to take one of these resin bases that I have, and it's a, it's a dead guy with a rib piece. And if you press it into here, it makes it look like a bug, which is really freaking nasty, but I guess that's the whole point. Then we have a pretty convincing bloated stomach. And then lightly go over it with some water or saliva just to keep it clean. Let me zoom in a little bit more here. Okay, now there we go. That is the stomach, and now we're going to be moving on to the stretch marks themselves. 